Um, it's uh, pop art style painting, um, usually just 2D. Um, I use a lot of stencils and spray paint. Content, it just depends on what comes to me. Um, I've been stuck in a comic book themed rut. I did a lot of theme art for a while, so now I'm trying to cleanse my palette with some uh, hyper detailed paper cuts, um, some more realistic stuff. It, it just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, I get it from everywhere. TV, the kids, uh, <laughs> just driving around, just whatever kind of pops into my head. I'm not too focused of an artist. I never went to art school, so I don't really know how to pull a lot of things together to do something profound, so I just kind of do my own thing from what, from what I see every day and stuff. What's it like? It's, it's a lot of fun. There's a never, never a boring moment. I mean, it's helped me to make a lot of good friends, see a lot of new places, uh, trade for a lot of cool artwork here in the house. So everything's pretty much been a positive experience. Um, I don't know, it's kind of helped me come out of my shell. I was pretty shy and uh, it's, it's kept me busy at night instead of drinking too much beer or <laughs> running around. You know, we had the kids and everything, so I just kind of focus on artwork and that gets me by with all that. Um, I, I've shown a lot kind of all over. It started off as a small thing, as a fluke. I, I submitted some artwork to the library here in town and they liked it and it went well so I figured I'll try somewhere else and the ball just kept rolling and I got to the point where I'm not nervous to submit anywhere because if they say no, somebody else will say yes. So I've shown, you know, Indy, Fort Wayne, South Bend. I've taken it nationally to, I've had pieces in New York, California. I've had stuff go to Italy, Spain. Just from random calls I see on Facebook or, you know, different blogs and stuff, and I apply. And I submit the stuff all the time because, you know, you shouldn't be scared to. It's, that's how you get it out there and you know for every 10 dislikes you're gonna get one like and or vice versa sometimes I get way too many shows and then I'm scrambling so yeah as far as that goes uh, the, the question the, the business part is a very important part of the artwork and I think a lot of people lose sight of that you have to sell yourself you have to sell your artwork and uh, knowing a little bit about business has helped me out a lot, just uh, getting my work out there. And as far as advice goes, just don't be scared. You know, the more you submit the and get turned down, the thicker your skin gets. To where once you just take the leap and do it, you won't be scared anymore. It's just taking that first step of putting yourself out there. So you just gotta jump in and go for it and then just submit, submit, submit and just keep pushing. It's a hustle definitely because you're, you're always trying to get to that next step, that next level. One show leads to another show. One handshake leads to you know, something in a magazine or whatever. So you just gotta not be afraid to put yourself out there. And sometimes rejection is a good thing because it helps you figure out what you need to fix or a different angle you need to take for the next time you deal with a gallery or even just interacting with other artists, you know. Some of them are very guarded and other people you'll meet. I've made some lifelong friends just by putting myself out there and, you know, they've helped me with contacts, I've helped them. So artist networking is a big thing too, you know. Make, go to shows, meet other artists and, you know, you might make a friend and you might make a good connection too. So. What advice would I give them? Um, put yourself out there and just work every day. You know, even if you sit down and just draw a picture on a notepad, um, just make sure you're doing something creative every day. It just helps helps with the flow of of ideas and stuff. Even there's days where I don't feel like doing anything, but I still force myself to sit down and do something creative every day just to keep keep it going. So.
that and like I keep saying over and over again don't be afraid to, to get out there and try I know when I was down in Indy showing a lot of those kids from the Heron School would come through and be like wow how'd you get this show here how'd you get the show there uh, I asked or I, I submitted uh, weren't you scared no not really because I don't have anything to lose you only have stuff to gain from putting yourself out there so that's my philosophy I'm not making stuff as big and trying to do it on more economical level for me and I've kind of not drop prices because the paintings are still priced at what they were, but I'm making stuff more affordable because I want to get it out there. I mean, what's the point of making an awesome painting and charging a lot of money if nobody wants to buy it? Now I'm focusing on just trying to make stuff affordable so I, I can make money, but I want people to be able to, to get it with the way the economy is. People don't buy, at least not my stuff. They're not buying too many big pieces, but I still want people to buy it and have it in their house. If, so they can enjoy it, you know. So just, I always got people coming up, oh, I love your artwork, I just wish I could afford to get one. Well, now with some of the different series I'm working in, they can. Is that funny? Thank you. I wish you would have sat beside me the whole time. It would have made it easier. I think I did. Way the people. You did. <laughs>